I have some huge news out of Park City. In my last video, what did Brian Serhant say? He said, you follow local municipalities. What is happening in Park City? Huge, huge news, you guys. Deer Valley's plan to expand the Snow Park base into a new ski and ski out village took a huge step forward on Thursday. So what does this mean? It means that the Park City Council unanimously approved Deer Valley's request to vacate the right of way on over two acres of private land adjacent to the Snow Park Village base. Deer Valley has requested Park City vacate portions of its public right of way on Deer Valley Drive as shown on the red and green areas. Utah law says vacating a public street, in this case, a portion of Deer Valley Drive requires good cause. A nine a non-binding letter of intent approved by the council Thursday outlines what the city and ski resort negotiated to meet that threshold. Commitment for Deer Valley includes a $15 million for Commitments from Deer Valley include $15 million for a parking transit facility, a 20% reduction in day skier parking, and a gondola network connecting Snow Park to the resort's new base along US 40 in Wasatch County, where the Mayflower is happening. What does this mean for you? It means that Deer Valley is going to explode. It's going to keep getting better and better and better. If you're buying something in Mayflower, this is good news. If you're buying something in Deer Valley, this is good news. This is good news for property owners. Obviously, there's always the local residents who want everything to stay the same and they don't want things to ever change. But at the end of the day, their property values are going to go up. I mean, property values are going to really, really, really increase. So during a public hearing, Council heard from over 30 people, including Park City resident and two-time Olympian Ted Ligeti, who also is a Deer Valley Global Athlete Ambassador. This town has changed so much over the 39 years that I've lived here, and I'm sure there's many people who would like to put that genie back in the bottle, kind of what I just said. But the fact is that things are evolving, and there are a lot of those evolutions are fantastic, Ligeti said. It's what's needed to continue to be a world-class destination, and part of that evolution is the 2034 Olympic Games, which is 10 years away, and it's actually that far away, right? So Salt Lake is most likely going to get the Olympic Games again, the 2034 Winter Olympic Games. It's not set in stone. However, we are the preferred city. We're the preferred state. They've already started celebrating here. We already have the infrastructure for it, so it's likely going to occur. Former Park City mayor and current business leaders and residents also expressed support for the project. However, the proposed development has been very controversial. A group called Protect the Loop, which is, I think, a lot of people that actually live in Lakeside in that area, claim that it represents the views of over uh, 1,100 of the Deer Valley neighbors has been opposed to the city giving up the road from the start. The group presented an alternate plan that involved moving Deer Valley Drive underground. A spokesperson for the Protect the Loop presented a change.org petition urging council to vote against it. The online petition was launched Thursday and has been signed by nearly 700 people. As of Friday afternoon, the spokesperson said that the sig signatories include local residents and employees of the city and Deer Valley. We are not the enemy, the spokesperson said. We are the ones of we are not the ones afraid. We are your constituents. Consultants. We have asked for reasonable alternatives. We deserve the support of our elected officials in negotiating better terms or refusing the ones on the table. For months, Park City Mayor Nan Worrell, two liaisons from the city council, negotiated with Deer Valley officials to find a fair exchange for giving up the road. On Thursday, Eric Lee, legal counsel for Four Deer Valley HOAs accused the liaisons, Ryan Dickey and Max Donnelly, of prejudging the partnership agreement in a way that disqualified them from voting. The two council members dismissed that accusation, so there's a little bit of controversy going on now that city council has approved this um, this to happen for Deer Valley. The idea that either of the lia liaisons had predetermined outcomes prior to starting this is unfathomable. We could not go into negotiation with that in mind, Donnelly said. Frankly, it's a little bit offensive. Council member Becca Berber said the persistent criticism of Deer Valley's project at previous public hearings gave the city leverage. Every time we had a public hearing and our community showed up, she said, we are worried about the traffic. We are all worried about the impacts. This is going to have a drastic impact on our life that strengthened the city's ability to negotiate for more in our community. Thursday's vote pushes Deer Valley's master plan development to the Park City Planning Commission for review. The vacation decision is contingent on the approval of the full project 
and the partnership agreement. It also includes a two-year sunset clause if no action occurs. Deer Valley is planning to open to host an open house about the village development on January 10th at the Snow Park Lodge. Let me know what you think about this in the comments down below. Do you think this is good growth for Park City? Do you think that it's bad growth for Park City? Do you think that there's a better way to do things? Are you excited for more development coming to the village bases? I always tell people who are thinking about buying here that when you take a look around at any of the villages, you know, Park City Mountain Resort, Canyons Village, Deer Valley, anywhere you see an empty parking lot, there is likely to be development in the future. Hey, what's up? My name is Nicole Battle. I'm a local real estate agent here in Park City, Utah. If you wish to contact me about buying or selling real estate in the Park City area, my information is always dropped down in the description link down below. Until next time, when I see you on the next video.